President Nick Lowe, the commencement is assembled. Thank you, Dr. Corey. The spring 2017 commencement exercises were convened by Dr. Christy Corey, Associate Professor of Management and Marketing and President of the Faculty Senate. The music before and during the procession was played by the New Orleans Concert Band under the direction of Dr. Charles Taylor, Director of the University of New Orleans School of the Arts. Good morning. Good morning, my name is John Nicklow and I am very proud to serve as President of the University of New Orleans. I am very pleased to be with you today to celebrate our graduates and their loved ones. Please rise and join us in singing the national anthem led by Mr. Grant Abair, who will receive his Master of Music degree in performance today and accompanied by the New Orleans Concert Band. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Grant. Please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce the platform guest for today's ceremony. Please stand briefly and be recognized as I call your name. Mr. Grant Abair, Master's Graduate in Music Performance. Dr. Dr. Brett Kempker, Dean of Students. Dr. Christy Corey, President of the Faculty Senate. Ms. Laura Amsbury Auger, Interim Dean of the Library. Dr. Amir Makari, Dean of the College of Engineering. Dr. Steve Johnson, Dean of the College of Sciences. Mr. Antonio Torres, student member of the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors and past president of the Student Government Association. Mr. Tom Kitchen, member of the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors. Brigadier General Chad Franks, United States Air Force, an honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker. Dr. Mayar Amuzagar, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Mr. Glenn Scorsoni, President of the UNO International Alumni Association. Dr. John Williams, Dean of the College of Business. Dr. Kim Martin Long, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Education and Human Development. Thank you. I also want to recognize the president of our staff council, Ms. Leanne Seip, and current president of our Student Government Association, Mr. Nigel Watkins, both seated to my left. Would you be, yes, would you please stand? Thank you. 
Candidates for degrees, faculty and staff of the University of New Orleans, parents and friends, it is my pleasure to welcome you today to the two, spring 2017 University of New Orleans commencement ceremony. We are delighted that you're able to be here this morning sharing this highlight in the lives of our students, their families, and their friends. I also want to welcome those who are with us this morning by way of live streaming. I'm happy that all of you could also be a part of today's celebration. Candidates for degrees. The University of New Orleans is as proud of you today as your parents and your friends. Today's program marks the end of a long years of rigorous academic training and the beginning of a transition to a different chapter of your lives. I want you to think for a moment how different you are today than when you first arrived at the University of New Orleans. You've grown. You've grown in so many ways through your determination to work hard and achieve your degree. And hopefully you now understand what I mean when I say education is transformational. And yes, you faced many obstacles along the way, but with the help of your family, your friends, and supporters, you've succeeded and are prepared for whatever might come next. You've accepted the challenge, and the future is truly yours. Congratulations. At this point, I want to recognize those people in your lives that helped make this day possible. I want to ask that all the parents and guardians of all the graduates please stand and remain standing. I'd also, ask that, I'd also ask that all the grandparents, spouses, partners, siblings, children, and other relatives and friends, please also stand. Thank you. Please be seated. To all of our audience today, audience, today's events signifies the culmination of many years of your hard work, sacrifice, and self-denial so that these graduates could be provided with the best education possible. So please kindly accept our humble congratulations. Now I'd like to ask my colleagues in the faculty, as well as the staff who may be present, to please stand. You too have played an, an essential role in the lives of these graduates. You've inspired them, you've challenged them, and supported all of these talented students. And this day could not, simply could not, occur without your efforts. I'm confident that you've been able to spark in the members of the class of 2017 a lifelong love of learning, so thank you. Thank you for your tireless efforts, your commitment to your students, and to the University of New Orleans each and every single day. Thank you. There are also some special groups of graduates I want to recognize today. First, I'd like to draw your attention to the special cords that some of our graduates are wearing. Our veterans are wearing red, white, and blue cords. And would all of our graduates who are military veterans please stand? Thank you for your service, and thank you for your service. You may be seated. Students graduating with university honors are wearing blue and silver cords, and students graduating with department honors are wearing blue cords. Would all of our students graduating with honors please stand? Thank you. Please be seated. Would all of our students graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA please stand?
Thank you. And our student athletes are wearing navy and white cords. Would all of our student athletes please stand? Thank you. You may be seated. It is my pleasure this, at, this morning to recognize a very special person with the awarding of an honorary doctorate degree by the University of New Orleans. Honorary degrees are academic degrees that honor highly distinguished contributions to a specific field. Today, it is my pleasure to award a doctorate of humane letters honoris causa to Brigadier General Chad Franks of the United States Air Force. General Franks is an alumnus of the University of New Orleans. He graduated in 1990 with a bachelor's degree in general studies. He is vice commander of the 14th Air Force, Air Force Space Command at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. General Franks is a native of Metairie, Louisiana, and a graduate of Archbishop Rummel High School. He has served 27 years with the United States Air Force and logged more than 3,300 hours as a command pilot. He's been deployed in support of multiple military operations, including operations Provide Comfort, Northern Watch in Iraq, Operation Allied Force in Kosovo, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. The Air Force Space Command, where General Franks is vice commander, provides ready space forces and command and control capabilities. It's comprised of 12,000 personnel with 28 weapon systems at 44 locations all around the globe. General Franks provides leadership and guidance for the 14th Air Force staff, five space wings, the 614th Air Operations Center, and the 614th Air and Space Communications Quadrant. General Franks was a member of the Air Force ROTC program at the University of New Orleans. And upon graduation, he entered the Air Force and has since served in a variety of flying positions during various assignments. He's been stationed at military posts all across the country as well as the Pentagon, and as, and as well as the Air Force Central Command in Qatar. General Franks holds a Master of Military Operational Art from Air Command and Staff College at Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama, and a Master of Strategic Art from the Army War College in Pennsylvania. He's earned a number of major awards and decorations, including the Silver Star, the Legion of Merit, the Bronze Star, the Meritor Meritorious Service Medal, and the NATO Medal. General Frank's distinguished military career, his demonstrated record of bravery and leadership, and his status as an alumnus of the University of New Orleans warrant the granting of this Doctorate of Humane Letters. General Franks, would you please come forward? With the approval of the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors and the authority vested in me, it is my privilege to award you an honorary doctorate of humane letters. Provost Mayor Amuzagar, assisted by Dr. Kim Martin Long, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Education, and Human Development, will provide General Franks with his hood. It is now my pleasure to invite General Franks and now Dr. Franks to provide the Class of 2017 Commencement Address. Thank you very much. So before I begin, I want to make a quick observation. I did a little bit of research before I uh, showed up today, and I realized that uh, I looked up who the commencement speakers were around the country. I noticed that Harvard is having Facebook CEO and founder, 
Mark Zuckerberg as their commencement address speaker. Arnold Schwarzenegger is speaking at the University of Houston. The comedian Will Ferrell will be USC's graduation speaker. And the Academy Award-winning actress Helen Mirren is Tulane's graduation speaker. And you guys get me. You really need to get your commencement speaker invites out a lot earlier. <laughs> President Nick Lowe, board member, Mr. Tom Kitchens, deans, members of the faculty, friends and family of our graduates, and most importantly, the class of 2017. Let me say first and foremost, how much of an honor it is to be here with you on such an important day in your life journey. It's awesome to see all the family and loved ones before the ceremony all dressed up, trying to get pictures with the graduates. It reminded me of my graduation almost 27 years ago in this very same arena. In fact, I remember my mother, before the ceremony, wanted to get some pictures. And at one point, she directed that me and my dad have a picture together. So as we started to pose, she looked at us and said, all right, guys, let's make this look natural. So Chad. Put your, put your arm around your dad's shoulder. And my dad quickly retorted with, if you want it to look natural, just have him stick his hands in my pockets. <laughs> Although he was joking, my dad was actually right. I would not have been graduating from this fine institution had it not been for the support, encouragement, and love from my parents, who are with us here today, by the way. I, I would venture to say that the class of 2017 wouldn't be here today if not for the support of their parents, family members, loved ones, friends, or this outstanding faculty. And I know we've already recognized them, but if that is true, I would suggest to our graduates that before we honor you, you stand and honor those who helped get you here today. How about standing up, giving a round of applause for your support team. Well done. So 27 years ago, I was in your shoes. A little tired from the party the night prior. Looking forward to the crawfish boil we were gonna have later in the day. Not sure who our guest speaker was or why they had been chosen and hoping it would be a short speech. <laughs> you know, most people do not even remember who their commencement speaker was, unless of course it's Will Ferrell. <laughs> but my military training has taught me to be brief, be brilliant and be gone. I think I think I can accomplish two out of three of those. <laughs> I want to first start by telling you about your Air Force. After all, I am an Air Force officer, and any chance I have the opportunity to tell our citizens about their United States Air Force, I take it. Ladies and gentlemen, your Air Force is the best it has ever been. Right now, Right now, as we sit here in this arena, we have airmen stationed across this great nation of ours standing watch against our adversaries. They are on alert 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days out of the year. They control and can employ at a moment's notice the most destructive nuclear weapons on the planet. They serve as the ultimate deterrent to nations that would threaten our way of life. We have airmen right now ready to fly combat air patrols along the border of our nation, ensuring our homeland remains free from attack. Air Force cargo planes fly every day, bringing supplies to our joint team currently deployed to Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Turkey, bases in Europe, the Pacific, and numerous locations around the globe. We have airmen right now maintaining and flying satellite constellations in space, 
that enable military operations and enhance the lives of everyone on the planet. If you woke up this morning, turned on your phone, used your GPS to get to the arena, or perhaps stopped at an ATM and got some cash out, you can thank the United States Air Force. We have, we have airmen deployed providing air support to our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who are engaged in combat operations right now. In fact, our ground forces have not been attacked or had to worry about enemy aircraft attacking them from the air since April of 1953. That, ladies and gentlemen, is total domination. And we are unmatched. And I'm extremely proud of my Air Force, and you should be too. And by the way, 60% of the six, over 600,000 airmen and civilians that make up our active duty, our Air Force Reserve, our Air National Guard, are about the same age as this graduating class. Our airmen that volunteer to serve this nation every day is the reason we are so good. I want to share with you how and why they are so good and what they do because I think it can apply and be useful for this class of graduates as you move forward on your life journey starting tomorrow. The reason we as an Air Force have been so successful is because of our core values. Core values that represent enduring, guiding principles on which we stand. They are so fundamental that they define our very identity. They're at the core of who we are. Our core values are integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. I have lived by these core values for my entire career in the Air Force. So far, they have proved immensely valuable, and it has worked out pretty well. I think you may find them useful as well. Integrity, service, excellence. Integrity first. Easy, right? Do the right thing all the time, whether everyone's watching or no one is watching. But it's more than that. It's just being honest. The ability to tell the truth to others. You are only as good as your word. In this new world of social media, it is so easy to be untruthful, to be, to be able to hide under false identities. And when this happens, you lose your own identity. Integrity is about speaking truth to power, the courage to speak openly and honestly to those who outrank you or have authority over you. It means being accountable when things go wrong and having the courage to take ownership and say, I screwed up. Service before self. I do not work in the Air Force. I serve in the Air Force. It's a different way of looking at things. It's a different perspective which drives a different attitude. Where will you serve? I would contend we all serve in different capacities. Some serve in education. Some serve in law. Some serve in government. Some serve in the arts. Some serve in medicine. And many will serve in business. But we should all be serving in some capacity. A mindset of service allows us to live to a higher standard. It means making the choice to sacrifice for the betterment of those around us, not just for ourselves. And finally, excellence in all we do. This requires us to have passion, a drive, a persistence for continuous improvement. It does not mean being perfect. Every training mission that I flew on, I failed at something. But I learned from it, got better, was determined not to repeat it. Excellence in all we do means being disciplined. It's a commitment to self-control. It's taking care of yourself physically, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. Integrity, service, excellence. Those are our core values. It is who we are. We don't just think about them. They are not just words. We live them every day. They are ingrained into you the day you put on the uniform. 
They are plastered on the walls where we work and where we train. We talk and discuss, about, discuss them regularly. They define our culture. What are your core values? What are your principles? What's your foundation? Your core value will define your life's journey. What do you truly value? Write them down. Post them somewhere where you will see them frequently. Do whatever it takes to drive you to think about them in everything that you do. As I mentioned earlier, I've spent my entire adult life in the United States Air Force since the day I graduated from UNO. I have loved every minute of it. I have traveled all over this great nation and the countries around the globe. My family and I have moved 15 times in 27 years. I have missed my son's birthdays, ball games, first dates, prom night, homecoming. I have missed anniversaries, family reunions, jazz fests, and many other things that most Americans take for granted. My family has had to endure my many combat deployments, not knowing if I would return. I have lost friends in training accidents and in combat. These are typical experiences for members of our U.S. Armed Forces. I don't tell you this to garner your sympathy or ask for your appreciation. It's just the life that we choose as military members. But to the graduates of Class 2017, I tell you this because you owe me. Here is what you owe me and every man and woman that has ever put on a military uniform. You owe it to us to have passion, a passion for this country, a passion that drives you to excel in whatever profession you decide is your life's work, a passion to ensure you take care of those around you, a passion that inspires you to believe the unbelievable. You owe it to us to participate. Participate in your local communities. Get involved. Be a good citizen. Participate in your government. Get out and vote. Speak out when you disagree with your government and provide support when you do agree with it. Someone once said, it's fate to be born free. It's a privilege to live free. It's a responsibility to die free. You, you owe it to us to get up when you fall. And trust me, you're going to fall. You're going to fail. But we don't expect you to use that as an excuse to quit or blame others. The legendary basketball player Michael Jordan once said, I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career, lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, I have been entrusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I have failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Failure can be a springboard to greatness if you have the right attitude. You owe it to us to work hard. Nothing will be given to you. Anything worth having is worth working hard for. Retired New York Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter once said, you don't need talent to work hard. Whatever you desire for yourself, your family, your friends, your community, your country will require hard work. You owe it to us to think for yourselves. Don't let others just give you the answers. Continue to seek knowledge. Keep your intellectual edge by continuing to learn throughout your journey. You owe it to us to, res to respect each other. Treat everyone you meet with dignity and respect. Value others that are not like you. Embrace diversity. Diversity is the source of our strength as Americans. You owe it to us to have fun, enjoy life, 
Enjoy the journey you're about to embark upon. If you're not having fun, then you're doing something wrong. Life is short. It's too short not to enjoy what you are doing. And you owe it to us to enjoy the freedoms that so many have fought and died for. In doing so, you honor them and me. This is what you owe me, and I'm going to hold you all accountable. But I know you will deliver. I like what I see in the graduates of 2017. Like the young airmen that I have the privilege to lead every day, I see greatness in this generation of young Americans, and your potential is boundless. I wish you all the best and tremendous success in your life's work and leave you with this quote from Sir Winston Churchill. To every man there comes in his lifetime that special moment when he is tapped on the shoulder and offered the chance to do a very special thing, unique and fitted to his talents. What a tragedy if that moment finds him unprepared and unqualified for the work that would be his finest hour. Graduates, I am certain that your studies and experiences here at the University of New Orleans, as it did for me 27 years ago, have prepared you well for that tap on the shoulder and that chance to do something very special. I wish you all the best as you move forward on your journey. Thank you for having me. General Franks, we want to thank you very much for spending time with us this morning and for your address. Would you please come forward? Please accept this medallion from the University of New Orleans as a token of our appreciation. Now we've come to, uh, I'm, I'm, we're forgetting something to do today, I'm sure. I'm not sure what it is. The degrees? We've come to, yeah, the degrees. We've come to the most important part of the program, um, and I'm sure the part you're all waiting for, the conferring of degrees. So I'd ask. I'd ask Dr. Mayara Muzagar, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, to please present the candidates for degrees. Thank you, President Niccolo. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the graduate students, starting with our doctoral candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, doctoral work is highly characterized by close mentoring of each student by a faculty member. It is this relationship that provides a foundation for innovation and original research and scholarly work. These candidates are not just our students, but they are our colleagues and research partners. For these reasons, our process for awarding doctoral degrees includes a ritual in which the mentor plays a ceremonial hood onto the student, thus initiating him or her into the rarefied community of experts. This year is particularly an auspicious year as it is the 50th anniversary of our campus granting its first PhD, a doctoral degree in chemistry in May of 1967. Now, will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy please rise? <laughs> President Nicola, these candidates have completed all the requirements and demonstrated the originality and excellence appropriate to the highest degree the university bestows. I'm pleased to present them to you for the conferring of the degrees. Thank you. With the recommendations of the graduate faculty, the provost and senior vice president for academic affairs, and by the authority vested in me by the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors, 
I confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Philosophy with all the privileges and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Please come forward to the platform as your name is read to receive your diploma and your doctoral hood. College of Business Administration. Nazar Selman Mustafa, Doctor of Philosophy in Financial Economics, Dissertation, Banking and Microfinance Performance, Market Power, Efficiency Performance, Outreach and Sustainability Perspectives, Major Professor M. Kabir Hassan. Omar Unsel, Doctor of Philosophy in Financial Economics, Dissertation, Political Contributions and Firm Performance, Evidence from Lobbying and Campaign Donations, Major Professor M. Kabir Hassan. <laughs> College of Engineering, Mahmoud Abdul Rahman Hamid, Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering and Applied Science, Civil Engineering, Dissertation, Schedule and Cost Performance Analysis and Prediction in Louisiana, DOTD. Major Professor Malloy Goes Hajra. <laughs> Gong Zhang, Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering and Applied Science. Dissertation, Motion Dynamics of Dropped Cylindrical Objects. Major Professor Lothar Burke. College of Liberal Arts, Education and Human Development. Mohammed Saleh Alajlan, Doctor of Philosophy in Special Education. Dissertation, Knowledge and Attitudes of Faculty Members at a Saudi University Toward Deaf and Hard of Hearing Students in Higher Education. Major Professor Kate Reynolds. Sultan Saeed a. Alzrahani, Doctor of Philosophy in Special Education, Dissertation, Investigation of Early Intervention Teacher's Perspective about Services in the Mecca Region of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Major Professor Linda Flynn Wilson. Lacey Ruth Chandler Decody, Doctor of Philosophy and Counselor Education. Dissertation, The Relationship Between Administrator Leadership Style and Job Experience of School Counselors. Major Professor Roxanne Dufresne. Michael David Hofshire, Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Administration. Dissertation, examining the impact of sexual orientation on the career development of LGBTQ plus students. Major Professor Christopher Broadhurst. Michael Hofshire serves as the Assistant Director of First Year Student Success in the Office of Enrollment Services at UNO. <laughs> College of Sciences. Sarah Akbari and Tafagi, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry. Dissertation, Microwave Assisted Topochemical Manipulation of Layered Oxide Perovskites from Inorganic Layered Oxides to Inorganic Organic Hybrid Perovskites and Functionalized Metal Oxide Nanosheets. Major Professor John B. Wiley. Sylvie. Joseph Tillis Silv, Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering and Applied Science, Computer Science. Dissertation toward real-time volatile memory forensics, frameworks, methods, and analysis. Major Professor Golden Richard III, diploma presented by his grandfather, Emeritus Director of the University Computing Center, Salvador Tillis.
Aisha I. Ali Gomb, Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering and Applied Science, Computer Science. Dissertation, Malware Analysis and Privacy Policy Enforcement Techniques for Android Applications. Major Professor Golden Richard. Ramatola Eskandari, Doctor of Philosophy and Engineering and Applied Science Physics. Dissertation, Ferroelectric Semiconductor Systems for New Generation of Solar Cells. Major Professor Lezik Malkinski. Rebecca Ron, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry, Dissertation, Design, Synthesis, and Glioblastoma Activity of 1,3-Diazinane-Based Aryl Amides in Benzofuse Heterocycles. Major Professor Branko Jersik, heard by Professor Mark Trudell. Maria Catherine Lindsay, Doctor of Philosophy and Chemistry, Dissertation, Studies Directed Towards the Iridium Catalyzed Synthesis of New Carbon Nitrogen Bonds, Major Professor Mark Trudell. Christina Maria Kronfeld, Doctor of Philosophy and in Integrative Biology, Dissertation, Characterization of genes involved in phycobiloprotein biosynthesis in Fremiella diplosiphon and Thermosynecoccus elongatus. Major Professor Wendy Schluchter. <laughs> Prabhat Chandra Nupain, Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering and Applied Science, dissertation. Paleohydrology and Paleoecology of Neogene Sewalic Rocks, Nepalese Himalaya using multi-proxy biomarker isotopic study. Major professors, M. Royhan Ghani and Nahid Ghani, hooded by Professor Giannis Giorgio. Richard Prevost, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry, Dissertation, Design and Fabrication of Nanostructures for the Enhancement of Photovoltaic Devices, Major Professor Matthew Tarr. Kristen Shexnader Williams, Doctor of Philosophy in Chemistry, Dissertation, Development of Luminescent Quantum Dot Enabled Nano and Micro Platforms for Biomarker Detection, Major Professor Matthew Tarr. Back? Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, now, will the candidates for the degrees of Master of Fine Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Business Administration, Master of Education, Master of Music, Master of Public Administration, Master of Science, and Master of Urban and Regional Planning please stand? President Nicolo, each of these candidates has fulfilled the requirement for the graduate degrees and graduate certificate indicated in the program. It gives me great pleasure to present them to you for conferring of their degrees. With the recommendations of the graduate faculty, the provost and senior vice president for academic affairs, and by the authority vested in me by the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors, I confer upon each of you the recommended master's degree with all the privileges and responsibilities thereunto appertaining.
Congratulations. Please be seated, and as directed by the marshal, please come forward to the platform to receive your diploma. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're ready for now for the undergrad. So we now come to presentation of the undergraduate degrees. Yeah. The deans will present the candidates for degree from their respective college. We shall begin with the College of Business Administration. Dr. John Williams, Dean of College of Business, will present the candidates. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the College of Business Administration please rise? <laughs> Dr. Amusagar, these candidates have met all the requirements for their respective degrees. I am happy to present them to you. Candidates, please remain standing. Dr. Amir Makari, Dean of the College of Engineering, will present the candidates for his college. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Engineering please stand? Mr. Provost, I am pleased to present these candidates. They have fulfilled every requirement for their degrees. Candidates, please remain standing. <clears throat> Dr. Kim Martin Long, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Education, and Human Development, will present the candidates for that college. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the College of Liberal Arts, Education, and Human Development please stand? And will the candidates for Bachelor of Arts in the College of Liberal Arts, Education, and Human Development please stand? Dr. Muzigar, these candidates have fulfilled all the requirements of their respective degrees, and it's my pleasure to present them to you. Candidates, please remain standing. Dr. Steve Johnson, Dean of the College of Sciences, will present the candidates for that college. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the College of Sciences please stand? Dr. Amuzagar, these candidates have met all the requirements for their respective degrees, and it was a great pleasure that I present them to you. Please remain standing. Last but not least, we will now present the candidates for the Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies please stand? These candidates have met all the requirements for their degrees, and it is my pleasure to present them. Candidates, please remain standing. President Niccolo, these degree candidates have fulfilled all the requirements for the undergraduate degrees printed above their names in the commencement program. It gives me great pleasure to present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. With the recommendations of the academic deans and directors of respective units, the provost and senior vice president for academic affairs, 
and by the authority vested in me by the University of Louisiana System Board of Supervisors, I confer upon each of you the appropriate undergraduate degree with all the privileges and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. Please be seated, and as directed by the marshal, please come forward to the platform to receive your diploma. College of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science. Zayad Karem Abdullah. Nishal Adhikari, summa cum laude. Addie Lynn Alexi. Salam Haviz Al Kawaja. Being awarded two Bachelor of Science degrees in the College of Business Administration. Logan Anthony Alonzo. Fasal Shalbut Di Alataibi. Rosella Estefania Ampuero. Hasna S. Atie, magna cum laude. Mary Judith Austin, magna cum laude. Fernando Andres Avalar. Sarah Marie Bayhan. Lori Gabriela Bautista. Ashley Celeste Beck. Christine Elizabeth Bishop. Casey Lynn Bladsacker. Kira Marie Blomer. Damon Maurice Brown, Jr. Veronica Nicole Bruno. Sicoria C. Bryant. Jordan Paul Buckeye. Amanda Swilly Cayato. Christy Grace Chatelain Capel. Austin Payne Carrier. Sarah Elizabeth Carter. Catherine Christine Colley, diploma presented by her sister, academic advisor in the College of Liberal Arts, Education and Human Development, Mary A. Gearing. D. Chen, magna cum laude. Kayla Ann Kaufman. Roshundo Baham Collins. Brianne Cherie Craven, magna cum laude. Christopher Robert Cruz. Tuyen Nok Bish Dang. Jesse R. Dana. Darren Lewis Darrensburg. Ebony R. Davis. Haley Ann Dawson. Heather Brignac Como. Marcos Arturo De Leon Varela, summa cum laude. Mario Alberto De Leon Varela, summa cum laude. Eric Wilhelm Dej, summa cum laude. Candace M. Detij. Aida Diak. Jacob Joseph DiMaggio. P. 
Peter Thien and Doe. Christine Rita Doyle. Paul William Edwards. Daisy Catherine Egan. Jessica Lynn Floyd. Blake C. Gagnon. Vanessa R. Gothro. Jacqueline Giorlando. Aisha Grow. Nicholas William Guerra. Anthony Ha. Melina Angela Hamazopoulos. Jesus Samir Enrique Howard Velasquez. Zwala Samara Howard Velasquez. Brandy Nicole Heffron, cum laude. Alexis Marie Hergert. Aaron LaCoy Herring, cum laude. Riley L. Hodge. Sarah Eleanor Hodges. Olivia Rose Hodgins. Kimin Huang, magna cum laude. David J. Hemel Jr. Lee Ann G. Jarrell. Jessica Amber Rose Jennings. Amen Abu Joba. Chloe Patrice Johnson. Matthew Todd Johnson. Leroy Elton Johnson III. Megan Nicole Joliker. Joshua McShane Jordan. Rachel Victoria Juno. Biplav Karki. Marcus Krieger, summa cum laude. Nathan Michael Langwa. Grant David Lanou. Amanda Elizabeth Lee. Ann Armstrong Lee, awarded two Bachelor of Science degrees in the College of Business Administration and cum laude. Corey James Lonzo. Derek Joseph Lotz. Chloe Michelle Mahaffey. Pablo Ernesto Maldonado, cum laude. Liao Mao. Emily Danielle Martin. Channing C. Momis. Amy Lynn McAuliffe. Adrian McCain. Tessa Lee Mertens. Conlin Fillmore Merchant. Wendy Marie Mintern, cum laude. Jordan Jules Moise. J. Michael Morris. Shruk Yasser Nasser. Amber Rose Neal, magna cum laude. Who in thee my win? Long than win, magna cum laude. Win, knock than win, magna cum laude. 
Phuong Bish Win. Thom Thi Win. Thuy T Win. Darinisha Dakia Patterson, cum laude. Bethany Marie Peranio. Claudia Beatrice Perez Baez, cum laude. Kendra Elise Petit. Thuy Fuang Thi Pham. Danny Christine Phoenix. Chu Cam Fu. Joel Michael Priez. Rami Iyad Kumri, cum laude. Hezekiah Jamey Randolph. Tyler Bruce Ray. Walter William Reed IV. Colleen Reese, magna cum laude. Kiki Simone Richards. Tina Annette Rapolo, cum laude. Christina Rousseau, magna cum laude. Robert Edwin Ruel. Matthew Garrett Salazar. Jorge Jesus Sanchez Jr. Kara Sander. Anna Segarra Ruiz. Two Bachelor of Science degrees in the College of Business Administration. Casey Ann Sergi. <laughs> Tiffany M. Severin. Joel Richard Sheehan. Jason Matthew Sheffield. Stephanie Christine Simpson, cum laude. Aaron Songer. Paul M. Sonyat. Alexandra Michelle Stadler. Shelby Patrice Stoof. Ashton Sertain. Seth Edmund Temporello. Caitlin Rose Tanzini. Savannah Alexandra Tassedo. Ohio Arlette Taylor. Trenice Ashley Thomas. Antonio Jose Torres. Abby Wild Tran. Yolanda Hoa Trong. Julia Jessica Valdery, magna cum laude. Jeray Jasmine Valerie. Dominique Alexander Van Court. Anna C. Vasquez. Paris Darlene Vinette. Irina Vlada. Jillian Nicole Walker. Nicholas L. Walker. Jeffrey Ian Ward. Kerry Joseph Wichterich Jr., cum laude. Marlene Calhoun Wilkerson. Sharita Nikel Williams. John Gerald Williams, magna cum laude. 
Rosa Maria Zajor. Graduates, on behalf of everyone present today, we congratulate you on your ach achievements and accomplishments, but there is one remaining tradition for us to address. Your tassel, which is normally worn to the right and is moved to the left to symbolize a student's transition from candidate to graduate. So with the vocal support of everyone here, let's all congratulate our graduates and please move your tassels to the left. And now that you are graduates, it is important to maintain your relationship to your alma mater. So it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Glenn Scorsoni, president of the University of New Orleans International Alumni Association, to offer his congratulations. Glenn? Thank you, Dr. Niccolo. I know that I'm the second to last speaker between you and your personal celebrations, so I will make this short. On behalf of all the members of the University of New Orleans International Alumni Association, we are proud of you and congratulate you on the accomplishment of receiving your degree. We welcome you to the family of UNO alumni. UNO is an outstanding institution with a dedicated faculty and staff, and we all wanna keep it that way. It is important that you become engaged to keep the University of New Orleans a strong and viable institution. As a graduate, I appreciate all that UNO has done for me. Like many others in the New Orleans area, I was fortunate it was here for me 40 years ago. UNO gave me and many of my family and friends a chance to obtain a college education and contribute to the city, the region, and beyond. Your degree from UNO has now given you that same opportunity. I strongly encourage you to become an active member of the UNO Alumni Association so we can sustain and build on the programs and offerings of the university. The future of UNO depends significantly on you and your involvement. Please be sure to verify or register your personal contact information online at www.unoalumni.com. This will assure that the Alumni Association can maintain our connection with you and you with UNO. There are a number of benefits when you become a member of the Alumni Association. These benefits can be viewed at the website. One more thing, it is free to join. Again, congratulations and best wishes on future success. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Scorsoni. I want to take uh, just a moment to invite all of you in the audience, our graduates, to uh, Crawfish Mambo, which is the city's largest crawfish festival, which is organized by your very own alumni association. It's taking place right now. Uh, we'll continue till six o'clock this evening on the campus next to the Cove. Live music, uh, kids' activities, and the best uh, hot boiled crawfish you will ever eat. Um, we'd love for you to celebrate with us. We'll be there. Please come. It's, we're going to have a giant party today, and we want to see you there, okay? Um, I want to thank the platform party and the faculty and staff at the University of New Orleans for their participation today in this ceremony. Uh, a word of thanks is also due to uh, a number of departments, student ambassadors, and other individuals uh, who helped today and uh, who's, who have worked hours to make this a, a, a success. Thank you. Now it is my pleasure again to call on Mr. Grant Abair, who will sing the alma mater with accompaniment by Dr. Charles Taylor and the New Orleans Concert Band. The words to the alma mater can be found in your program. Please stand.
you and all our mother proud we stand to sing your fame you with you have gone and keep us true to the silver and blue Thank you Grant I would ask that everyone remains, remain in their seats until the platform party and the graduates have recessed from the arena. Thanks to all of you, and again, congratulations, privateers. <laughs>